This video is a review of the Liquid Liquid Solutions chapter of the Chemical Thermodynamics and Kinetics playlist. We start off by looking at partial molar quantities, which is the partial derivative of a given property with respect to the number of moles of that given substance. So that would be a constant temperature, pressure, and number of moles of all of the other substances in a mixture. So this includes things like entropy, enthalpy, Gibbs energy, volume, uh, all those types of things. So we can also have the gibbs duhem equation, which says that the sum over all the substances in a solution is equal to the number of moles of those substances times their change in chemical potential being equal to zero. So it relates the change in chemical potential of one substance to that of another, where the change in chemical potential of that substance is equal to its negative uh, partial molar entropy times change in temperature plus uh, partial molar volume times the change in pressure. We can get the chemical potential of a given substance in solution by relating it to the chemical potential in its vapor phase where the chemical potential in solution is equal to the chemical potential of a pure liquid, pure indicated by the star, plus RT times the natural log of the vapor pressure of that substance divided by the vapor pressure of its pure liquid under those same conditions. So we can get this value from Raoul's law for ideal solutions, which says that for ideal solutions, the vapor pressure of a given component is equal to its mole fraction times the vapor pressure of the pure substance. For all mole fractions, this has to be true for the solution to behave ideally. So with this, we can build pressure composition diagrams where we look at the mole fraction of the liquid and the mole fraction of the gas for a given substance as a function of pressure. So we can see as we increase the pressure, we're going to have a greater mole fraction in the gas of that substance than we do in, in the liquid because one of them is going to have a higher vapor pressure than the other. We can do the same thing for temperature using a temperature composition diagram and the vaporization temperatures or boiling points of each of the substances in there, where when it's above both of them, they're, they're gas. When it's below both of their uh, temperatures, it's liquid. And in the middle, we get a mixture where we can predict how much of the liquid and the gas has a mole fraction of each of them using, uh, using the difference in these two values. The energy of mixing for ideal solutions is that there is no change in enthalpy since there's no difference in interactions for ideal uh, solutions and there's no change in molar volume in ideal mixing because the particles are going to continue to uh, take up the same amount of space relative to one another. So the Gibbs energy change during ideal mixing is the negative temperature times the entropy change during that mixing. All right, whenever we don't have ideal solutions, but we have something which is very dilute, instead of using Raoult's law, we can use Henry's law, where the mole fraction here has, been, or sorry, where the vapor pressure of the pure substance has been replaced by the Henry's law coefficient, which is just defined as the derivative of the vapor pressure of that substance with respect to mole fraction, which is going to be a linear value and become true as the mole fraction approaches, or as the vapor pressure approaches zero. We can define activity, which is an analog to mole fraction for non-ideal solutions. So the chemical potential for a substance in solution is going to equal is going to equal the chemical potential of the pure liquid plus RT times the natural log of the activity which would have been the mole fraction if our solution was behaving ideally. So we can define things like activity coefficients, the activity divided by the mole fraction, which shows us to the extent that our solution is behaving ideally, one if it's ideal and not one if it's behaving non-ideally with different standard states that we can define based off of Henry's law or Raoul's law. Links to each of these individual videos in the on-screen annotations as well as in the description.